Good morning, everybody. Please turn your cameras on. Lovely to see everyone. Good morning, James and Penny. It's great to see you. Good Particularly morning. great to see you. <laughs> <laughs> we currently got at least um, 25, I think probably about 50 people on this call, and the room is big enough for up to 200 people to join us. There are about 130 people signed up to the event altogether, which I think is amazing all over the world, people doing stuff. And now we're into our keynote session by Penny Tompkins and James Lawley. And do they need in any introduction? Um, <laughs> these are the guys who, it's interesting transferring from the last conversation where we, t we were talking about David Grove, the man who had all these wonderful ideas and then would set off to the next idea and then the next idea and then the next idea. Penny and James's probably biggest contribution to the field was keeping David sufficiently focused for long enough to write down some of the awesomeness that he was up to. So um, without further ado, let me hand over to Penny and James to do what they're going to do. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Judy. Um, well, it's an interesting that you should talk about um, having spoken about David and then turning over to us, because actually that's exactly what um, what our talk is going to be about. For this keynote, James and I, for the first time, have chosen to review our contribution to the field of clean. All of our work is based on David Grove's brilliant innovations We've created new ways to describe his work, and we've even added some models and theories of our own. And I can remember David's metaphor vividly. He said, I am the launch pad. So we steeped ourselves. He was in Britain every six months, and we would attend everything he did. And then in 2002, we captured an entirely new process that David had come to see us with, called Clean Space. This book by David and Basil Panza was the only thing you, you could get. It was the only published and, um, and available item. Um, there were no, there were no uh, articles available, and to the youngsters of you out there might be surprised, there was no internet. Those of you who've been around for a while will know, we know about these items. These things are all available. David had an interesting habit of explaining what he was going to do and then doing something different. We studied cognitive linguistics um, intensely and, and uh, the notion of embodied uh, cognition, uh, self-organizing systems and emergence. That was all brought into our early work and our early articles in 97 was the perceptual present, and there was always a before that, and there was always an afterwards. So it was a useful little navigation aid for us while we were modeling. Um, Stefan Uberta in, uh, in Holland, in the Netherlands, where he created a process called Modeling Shared Reality. Caitlin Walker's work in Metaphors at Work was part of an early development of this. How do you work with a team, clean community? Um, we don't claim credit for 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 um, for creating it. What we do is say that we made our contribution through the way we supported it, and then the metaphor will develop of its own accord. 